Let us stay in Africa and build Africa. I mean, what does Africa lack in terms of resources? The recent number of Nigerian youth traveling outside Nigeria for better future or for greener pastures. Do you choose to stay or leave? Me? I mean, if I get my opportunity, I won't be in Nigeria because <laughs> you can see. Let, let's be sincere with ourselves. You can't be in Nigeria and think straight. Wow. Everyone in Nigeria has a mental disorder. What, what do we lack? If it is solar energy, which continent is capable of producing solar energy to light this continent and the entire earth? Now, uh, I've been wondering as to why many Africans abandon their continent Africa to go look for jobs outside their continent. So go to understand that. Exodus of Nigerians. According to the United Nations Department of Economic and Social Affairs, the number of international migrants from Nigeria in 2020 was 1.7 million, surpassing the 990,000 migrants recorded just 10 years earlier. The word Jaapa. If it is hydroelectricity, what can we not generate? If it is minerals, if we wanted to make bombs, if we should, where do they get their uranium from? If it is timber, what don't we have? If it is human resources, we are two billion of us. And we are people who have intelligence. And yet we are kept in a constant state of conflict. My wonderful people. Now, I want to take this opportunity to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Those who are watching me for the first time, please I request that you take the bold step to subscribe to our, to our YouTube channel and uh, if uh, you are our um, subscriber you are our fan we big up to you and we thank you very much for the consistency that you have in this channel and we promise that we will never disappoint you or Yoruba colloquialism which means to run hastily or remove oneself from a difficult or uncomfortable situation with immediacy has become one of the most commonly used terms in conversation. About a month ago, I and my friends were planning a sort of yearly hangout event. A few days to the event, we discovered that some of our friends have left the country. Yes, they are Chakwa. I don't blame people that is Chakwa. Even me, if I see the opportunity, I will leave. If I see any opportunity to Chakwa from now, here, right now, I will just move out. I will gladly Chakwa because the country is a hell. We'll always work around, work around the clock to make, that, to make sure that we feed you with the information that you want to hear from us. And guys, it is 12.53 a.m. in the midnight. I'm doing this video in the middle of the night because uh, today I never uh, did a video during the daytime. That's why I've just decided to do this video in the middle of, in the, middle of the night when the world... And the, and the environment is so quiet and favorable for me to record this video because as you all know that the schools are closed and children or if you like kids are, are in their long holiday and they'll actually open schools on uh, it is, is it 8th of January yes they'll open schools in 8th of January and therefore we have to give them their time to play and enjoy their uh, their young age or their young stage so that's why I, I just saw it twice that we, we need to record this video when the, the environment is that quiet because we want to talk about a very, very crucial topic that uh, actually affects Africa. I will jump by, I will, I will, I will disappear. Canada, USA, you know, um, Australia. 65,929 Nigerian students received the UK student visa in 2022, eight times more visa than it was in 2019, an increase of 686%. In compared to 2019 before COVID with 2022 after COVID. So you're looking at three major countries at the top here. You're looking at Nigeria, Pakistan, India. So these are the countries that have you know highest you know increasing percentage so you have nigeria 686 percent you know compared to 377 uh, for pakistan which was second and then you have india 215 and if you look at another table here so this is the number of visas granted for nigeria you have 2020 2021 and 2022 just look at that figure 2020 was 8,000. Um, you know, there are about, and then you have 2021. 20, 
surpassed the 6,000 Arab and then in 2022, 65,000. Understand that a larger percentage of Africans migrate within the, Af the African continent. Many, many tend to leave their, cont their countries to go uh, <laughs> seek for employment in the neighboring countries due to some reasons that we are going to uh, explore here. And guys, if you're watching us for the first time, I please I request that you take your bold step and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you wish to contribute to this discussion, it's so easy. Just tap on the on that button of comment section. Please give us your view uh, as far as this this discussion or this topic is concerned. Give us your opinion on this. As I told you that this channel is for all of us and we are here to learn together because I might have not done enough research for this topic. So uh, what are these factors that uh, make people move up and down to in, in search of employment or better life? Because there's nobody who wants to live in poverty. Nobody wants to live in poverty. Everybody wants to enjoy life. Every, everybody wants to at, at least leave some good inheritance for their children when maybe, maybe when they die in future because death is inevitable. People will die one day, one time. So people tend to seek for uh, employment and good job opportunities uh, for them to have a good life and also a, a, to, to leave a good inheritance for their loved ones okay or their children or their grandchildren or their families so that's why people uh, will want to uh, move from a country to the other country to go look for a job that at least can sustain them and can also uh, be um, supportive uh, for their daily, daily bread so that's that's the topic the topic that we want to discuss today why people leave africa and yet Africa is considered a rich continent with all these miner minerals that we see around okay? and people leave that then go to other countries outside Af African continent also to go seek for job opportunities. I, okay? if, even me if I get chance right now today to leave Africa to go yeah, seek for job employment outside African continent or maybe I go some connection outside African continent believe me I'll go okay so it's not bad to leave your continent to go look for uh, employment outside your continent because nobody wants to die in poverty nobody okay nobody wants to die in poverty people struggle for them to make good life and uh, put their family in a good a life okay nobody wants to stay in poverty because uh, you know many Africans were born in poverty many of them and uh, even our leaders that we see today that we complain that are corrupt that they are draining their countries their continent were once poor okay so nobody was born rich so number one factor that make people move from African continent or within the African continent to, uh, to go look for job opportunities is the uh, economic opportunities. Many Africans seek better economic prospects and job opportunities around and abroad. They may perceive that other countries offer maybe a higher wage than their country and better working conditions uh, okay, than their country and more chances of career advancement. Okay, you know, people have careers, so maybe you've got a good job offer and uh, that gives you good wages and uh, a lot of allowances so you'll you'll actually grab that opportunity subscribe to that opportunity with as with as much speed as possible because uh, as i told before that nobody wants to die poor and people wants to make money people wants to make wealth so if you get someone that gives you a higher wage than your previous boss it's automatically that you leave that company to go work and grab that opportunity so that's another one that's the number one reason as to why people tend to leave their continent africa to go seek for employment outside african continent or within the african continent this mouse has got a problem i don't know 
Okay, number two uh, factor is unemployment and underemployment. You know, some African countries faces high level of uh, unemployment and underemployment because there are limited job opportunities in certain uh, sectors or inadequate wages can push individuals to explore opportunities in other regions. We believe that Africans, the African continent has got high rate of unemployment, especially the youths, you know, and the, 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 the larger number of people that migrate from Africa or within Africa are the youths, because the youths believe that uh, the rich will never allow them to be rich, okay? And that's why they have to find out, they have to find their way out for them to make or to achieve their success. So uh, they will do everything possible for them to or achieve the success that they want. So people will move and youths are leading in this. Youths are moving outside African continent in large number uh, as compared to the old age people. Okay, so my question is, who do you want to leave behind when youths are, all of them are going outside the African continent to go look for job opportunities? Who do you want to leave behind to develop your, your country for you or to develop your continent for you? Another factor that make, make people to leave African continent to go work outside the African continent or within the African continent is because of the education and uh, skill development. As I said that uh, before that, People believe that the level, the level of or the quality of education in Africa is low, is low compared to the quality of education in Europe. So people will tend to move from the, uh, their continent to go pursue higher education uh, in Europe. Then they may choose to stay in Europe and work there, or they may choose to come back to Africa uh, at least to make use of the new skill that they have gained from Europe. So this is also another factor that makes people to move from Africa to Europe or to other African countries, at least to increase their chances of getting employed. Another, another factor that makes people leave Africa is the political instability and conflict. Okay, you know, pol political instability, civil unrest and conflicts in certain African countries uh, can create uncertain and unsafe environment for people to work in. Okay, people may seek employment abroad as means of escaping the challenging conditions. You know, many countries in Africa faces political instability, okay, and uh, conflicts and also terror attacks. So some Africans feel that is the Africa or their countries in Africa are no, are no longer safe for them to work because there is tension all over all, every now and then. Like in Nigeria, uh, when the Boko Haram uh, uh, was attacking Nigeria like almost all the time, every time. And, uh, and we also get to understand that many people lost their lives Many people lost their properties, so nobody will want to stay in such an such an environment because he feels or she feels that his life is in danger. His life is no longer safe, and therefore, if he he start investing in that kind of environment, okay, he or she will she might die early leaving her investment there, or she might lose her life without starting to invest. So people will move or will leave their countries because of such reasons, political instability, conflicts, and uh, terror attacks, okay? And we've, we've seen that in, in many African countries like Nigeria, like uh, Somalia, like uh, Sudan, like Congo, okay? We've seen, we've, we've witnessed a lot of terror attacks, a lot of uh, political uh, conflicts and instabilities, okay? So these factors also contribute to people moving from African continent to go seek for employment outside the African continent. Another factor is the global migration trend, okay? As well as, as, as it is, okay, many Africans 
when they get that chance of traveling the world they will do like i said before even me if i get that chance of moving from africa to go work to another to another continent or to another country and uh, with a higher wage my friend believe me i will go why because nobody wants to die poor and people who want to move want to uh, uh, traverse the world uh, individuals from various parts of the world move to different countries for work Africans are not an exception. Africans also move within the African continent and even outside the Af African continent uh, to at least better their life and also to explore the world, okay? To see what is it that is in Congo, what is it that is in USA, what is it that is in Mexico. So people tend to move from one point to another to at least explore the world and at least see things that they just watch on the televisions, they just watch on the internet. So people also move because they want to at least relax. So such, uh, those are the factors that also contribute people moving. Another, another factor is the quality of life. Okay, you know, we believe that the quality of life in Africa is poor because Africa is perceived as a poor continent with a low economic growth and uh, poor economic system so people will always look for a better life that's why we call it a greener pasture so nobody will, uh, will want to stay in a poor condition everybody will want to move will want to live a good life where your kids live well they get what they want People will want to work, move because they want to better their life. They want to make their life better uh, for themselves and for their children. Okay. Some individuals seek to seek a better quality of life, which may include access to better healthcare, access to education, access to good infrastructure, and an overall living standards perceptions of a higher quality of life may drive people to move to a more developed country like United States of America. You know, we, we believe that Africa is that is very poor and the US is better. Okay? And people say that Africa has got people the leaders are so corrupt and the leaders in US are not corrupt. Let me tell you that a human being is a, is a human being. People will want to get more and more and more. That's why we enter into these corruption things that we see in Africa. So many of our African leaders are corrupt not because they want to be corrupt, but it's because the the environment and the society has allowed that. Okay? The society has allowed uh, corruption. That's why every time when we want to go to election, we see these same same leaders, they come back and bribe us. They just bribe us with with the with one dollar. Just imagine a dollar, a dollar a dollar a dollar only, you sell your vote to someone who is going there to loot and to put you into the, into the condition that you are okay just imagine you sell your vote with one dollar to someone who wants to uh, who believes that when he goes there he's going to return a thousand times of what he given unto you so that's why people will want to move people will want to move because uh, they want to better their life they want to uh, live a good life because we've nurtured a society whereby we believe that our leaders are always correct okay our leaders cannot make mistakes because we forget that these leaders that we elect were once us they were once in our condition they were once poor they were once struggling you know there's a say that goes in soil that maskini akipata so such things they happen when a poor person gets wealth do as everything possible to maintain and to keep that that wealth to maintain and to continue living in that condition so that's why our african leaders will stay in power the children the children will stay in power 
they die they leave the children in that same same power with a lot of wealth okay why because we have nurtured that in the society we have accepted that in the society we have allowed that to happen okay so guys if you're watching for the first time i request that you just subscribe to my youtube channel please comment and if you wish to take part into this conversation i request that you do so this is our channel where we speak the truth and the truth remains the truth and if someone feels that he is offended with our truth we are very sorry for that but we will never feel sorry for the truth okay so another factor that makes people move from one end to the other is diaspora connection okay you know established diaspora communities uh, can be significant factor people may have families abroad okay and friends abroad and they they might want to go visit them or have a like, some vacation and maybe family gathering so people will move because there's that diaspora connection you know maybe my sister went to das to us so i also want to go to us because my sister went to us so so this connection this family connection uh, might and will uh, might also facilitate the migration of, of people from one end to the other okay you understand that point so please subscribe to our channel last but not least point that i also got is the global demand for skilled labor you know as i said before you know there are some courses that we do here in africa in our universities that are not uh, consumed here in africa so you find out that maybe someone has graduated from his uh, university or from the course and uh, he doesn't have a job he has applied jobs and he doesn't get that job because there are no jobs jobs are there but they're scarce so once you get an opportunity of to work in another country they they are they have uh, accepted to absorb you with the course that you did you know you'll run you'll go running because imagine you you've been in the university for maybe over five years or four years then um, you come and sit down with your certificate and with all that uh, degree so when people get such opportunities to go work outside african continent they'll actually go because your course is required by another country is of much value to another country so guys uh, i really thank you for uh, joining my youtube channel today for joining this conversation and guys if you're watching me for the first time please 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 i request that you subscribe to our youtube channel and if you like share our videos to many more people okay i'm preparing to do some video here though we've done it before uh, why nigerians tend to leave their country to go work into another country or to other countries rather than staying in their country so guys thank you for Thank you for watching our videos and please subscribe on air comment and share i love you so much and please let me see you again in my next video